W18 here outside Vicarage Road. It's finished Watford 2, Tottenham Hotspur 1. And we're here for some player ratings. Starting off Shane in goal, Ben Foster. Um, solid today. I think any time the ball came into him, he looked to be relatively commanding in there. Uh, but I said it before, I think his distribution, his handling, I think it's better than Gomez. Yeah. Um, he was under mountains and mountains of pressure in that last 10 minutes or so. The whipping balls in there. Defence really helped him out. His catches, today. I think, His are catches really were good. fantastic. You know, the minute, I think with him, it's never a case. And I think, and Gomez, I think, sometimes did get slammed for this as well. Ball would come in, Gomez would like parry it or mm. wouldn't be too short. Foster, Foster, straight in, yeah. bang. It's his, it's done, it's cleared up. We go again. I'm going to give him a very strong rating today. I thought he was great. Um, nine. Ooh. High rating and moving on to Holly Bass, mm. I thought he had a class game. He was. First half he looked he looked a little bit average, but second half, I mean, mate. I mean it's just this season he's a completely different player to last season. Two assists. Two I assists. Think I think I think he's on about what, five or six assists yeah, already this be. season. I mean, you know, look at last season and he seen before that, he, he couldn't beat the first man of the corner and now he's whipping in inch perfect corners, you know, and they've resulted in goals. So another fantastic game for Holly Bass. I'll give him eight eight point five out of ten. Centre back, big man, Cabaselli. My, my man of the match, personally, especially in that first half, he held us together. I said it in my fan cam, um, he won't necessarily get the praise that I think he deserves today. Um, reason being for that is because I think his defensive partner, Kafka, I thought had a better game. Um, with that goal, I think, as well, the goal just nudged him just slightly take the in front. Headlines, I think, well. That will take the headlines as well, um, as well as Troy's celebration, I'm sure. But Cabasele today, first half, kept us in it. Mm. It's as simple as that. Midfield, I said it in my fan cam as well, midfield at times, Straight balls going in there. There was one, I think, one particular incident. Capu did a really poor pass back to Cabaselli, I think. One, there's one particular, yeah. There, there was that bad pass back. I think Kane ran onto it. I yeah, thought, yeah. shit, Kane's about to get in here. Cabaselli, bang, Slide straight in. Um, <clears throat> so what are you giving him out of 10? Oh, I'm going to go again, nine. Moving on, Craig Kafka, obviously he got the uh, winning goal. I thought he's had a quality performance. To, uh, I think he pocketed Kane. Yeah, immense. Like, um, he had Kane in his back, back pocket the whole game. I thought it was incredible, you know, he got the winning goal that he deserved, I think. Nine out of ten, Kafka Cup, brilliant. Right back, Yamma, I thought his best game I've seen this season. I'd have to agree with you, I think, with that. Um, just times where, again, he was under pressure, just moving that ball forward down the wing. It was a better, I think it was a better performance from him this time around. I thought it was a little bit dodgier against Palace. Um, but, again, another solid showing from him. Uh, was he as good as the other two defenders, Kafka, Cabasella, Holobas? For me, I don't think he was. Um, but that doesn't really Still matter, does it? I mean, yeah. let's let, let's be honest. Uh, I'll give him an eight. Yeah, Solid yeah. job. Um, let's move to left mid, Pereira. He had a tough time of it mm. today, I think, but he, he did well. Yeah, he still did well. Obviously, it wasn't, you know, he, last two home games, he's been incredible. So it wasn't his, you know, it was probably his worst come out of the three, but I thought he still he still did well. But because um, he was on a what, trippy, I think Trippier did cause him problems a lot of the time. I think, you know, Pereira was, Prairie stood up to him most of the time, to be honest. We saw a, a lot more defensive yeah, side a lot more de today. Which is what you need from left midfielder, because mm. Prairie is obviously he's more attack-minded, but obviously as a left midfielder, you need to have a bit of defensive, defensive, you know, now it's about you. So I think he did well today. So I'll give him, a, give him an 8 out of 10, I think that's fair. Uh, back over to the right wing, we had Will Hughes. I thought could took an elbow to the head in the second yeah, half. Yeah. Could have been a red, in my opinion, yeah. but uh, he still played well. He played well despite the adversity. The adversity, I mean, is the referee, mm. who I thought... Um, Shocking. He can get his own rating later. Yeah, he can get his own rating. He will get his own rating later, I'm sure. But Will Hughes, for me, I just, I don't know, like, I kind of struggle with him a little bit out on the wing. I just think he gets overpressurized a little bit. Um, thought, thought first half, quite honestly, I thought he was a little bit off it, really. Battling very hard in there, but we weren't getting enough joy. I, don't, I didn't think we were, we were necessarily going at that Spurs defence as much as we could have done. Yeah. But for me... Improved massively in that second half. Before definitely. you give your rating, Delafeu comes back from injury fully fit. Is he in front of Hughes in the team? Considering position wise as well. Because lots of people have said play Hughes centre mid or. Hughes is best, you know, as, as Nikhil alluded to in the podcast, Hughes' is best position is attacking midfield. And I've got to agree with that. For me, Delafeu comes back in again. I think he has to replace Hughes. I think it is as simple as that. He's one of our key players this season. Hughes. Yeah, exactly. Oh, so we've got so such a good midfield at the but moment. This is, but this is it's the best thing. Way. It's only a good thing to have it all is, these. Yeah, exactly. it's only a good thing. No, you're absolutely right. But so final rating. Hughes, um, ah, eight. Yeah. Go on. Just midfield, uh, Kapu. He he never plays well against Tottenham, no. in my opinion. Best thing he's done is three nutmegs in a row. But I thought today was probably one of his best performances. Yeah, it was. Him. I mean, apart from that, um, 
that pass where he give it give it straight yeah. to Kane. That's that's all he really did wrong to be honest. But I think he stood as well. You know, because midfield is he had you know against him like Dembele mm. and um, who else did he have against him? You know, Dembele and um, who else did he have? Ericsson, Ericsson like yeah, uh, Deli Ali. You know, with, which are top top class midfielders, mm. and I think he stood up to him well. So I'll give him I'll give him another eight out of ten. I thought Decore was our weakest midfielder today. I think Do you quite, agree? Um, <laughs> Jacob's had his say, now have yours. <laughs> so Jacob's upset. He was Jacob's our best upset. midfielder. I, I, oh, I don't know, because he I puts think, himself about, okay, but I will, today he wasn't I will say good. this, I will say this. For me, for me, he was better, for me, he was better than Kapu today. On my, in my personal opinion. Um, giving him a rating, look, listen, the times that midfield where we just had to be strong, didn't we? He came away with the ball. Last, last, I think what we're in the dying. I think in the last game. twenty minutes he was quality. Yeah, straight yeah. away up and almost like kicked off the Spurs yeah. defender and you know came out of the throw. Mm. For that alone, I'm going to give him eight and a half. Yeah, I yeah. thought he was better today than Kapu. Kapu's been solid. Um, there Time will be for Chalaba to come back in after the international break. I think he probably yeah. will. Yeah, I, I think he probably will. Fair, fair play to Kapu. He's proved me wrong in his games, but now it's time for big old Nat to come back in again. So. Up front, we'll give you, we'll give you grey, we'll Up give you grey, we'll give you that task. Yeah, um, uh, he, he, he made, he was making some good runs, you know, like he always does, makes some good runs. He did okay, but I think like Shane, Shane um, spoke about me earlier, that I think success did more than grey when yeah. he came on. It may sound harsh, but you know, it's all about opinions in it. I, I do think success definitely did do more than grey. Um, so I, I'll give grey, he was, Yes, I think seven and a half is probably fair. Because yeah, he, yeah. he wasn't exactly poor, but it wasn't. He didn't do a lot in the game, so I think, seven point five. Yeah, I think right, Shane I think. said in his fan camp yeah, as well. Yeah. It's like um, yeah. it's not like a game maybe made for great, but it was made for someone to seize the moment. And Troy Deeney did. I just want to say one very quick thing as well. If I were if I were um, if I were Andre, I'd be a little bit worried. Isaac's come on and he's had a little bit of a bigger scored against in Reading. there. He scored against yeah. Reading as well. He looks ripped as well. Speaking of men, speaking of men who look ripped, <laughs> Shane. <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> Troy Deeney. Yeah. Fucking hell, he carried us through that, didn't he? Yeah. Hey, look, I mean, oh. Do you know honestly, right? I said it in my fan, but I will just say it again because I was just so impressed. Honestly, left hand side, Lino being an absolute dick not giving us the decisions. Troy felt the anger. And what did he do when the corner was eventually given? He went off there and he scored. Look at the way he slid down. Massive amount of pressure. Reached off it. True passion. It was true pa passion. 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 Right. That's what you call it. But I think with Troy, that was a big, big goal for him. Um, he's look, he looks like a different player. That, that is the Troy Dini I fell in love with. How many goals is he scoring this season? I want you to say now. I don't want, I want this. Okay. I don't want I'm this to match fire. It's fine if it does. Cause. Do you want me? Do you want me to? Do you want me to? Oh, go, go, on, go, on, go on then. Yeah. Uh, go on. Go on. Go on, go on. Let, let's go for. Let's not be too optimistic. Let's go for 15. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say 12. I was going to say 12. It would be a good. Say 12. 15. 14. Yeah. Oh. Come on. <laughs> oh, come on. Before he's in at the moment, if he carries that through, I think, but yeah. I think if you get 20, I think you know, is I think yeah. we're going to get going to do bits this season. If we get one thing, I would say actually with Troy, and it's a really important point. It's, it's a point about the team in general as well. Last season, if this game had happened last season, Troy, the defender would have been there. Troy would have just stood there. Yeah, it'd have been sold. There would have been nothing. There would have been nothing there. In the ear of the referee, he was doing that much less today. The only time I think he got a telling off was for a celebration where he almost went into the fucking rookery. <laughs> um, jumped in. <laughs> he almost, almost jumped in. But Troy was a big part of the win today. And the reason why is because as captain, it's all about marshalling the troops. That was a huge test for us today. Yeah. It was a massive test. Was today. the biggest part of the win, we're going to wrap this up with Javi Gracia. Because yeah. for me, he's the biggest part of this win today. I'd agree with that. Um, as, I say, as I said before, last season, we would have, um, we would have crumbled. Um, I could quite easily have seen us conceding two late goals last season if that had been under Javi last season, but something's just happened. I don't know what it is. We seem to have just rejuvenated ourselves. Mm. Javi, massive, massive credit today. Yeah. Um, unchanged team, you could say that, but he, I thought the... Um, it's Deli Ali. Right, I'm going to wrap it up. Javi Gracia, 10 out of 10. Same. Yeah, definitely. I think if it was possible to give more than 10, I'd give him a 10, but no. It got, it got his subs spot on. Um, yeah, definitely 10 out of 10, Javi. Guys, if you did enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe.